Welcome to The Whole Yogi, where we help you find the spiritual guru inside of you. Hello, beautiful. Hello, handsome. How you doing today? And if no one has told you today that they love you, let me be the first. Mwah. I love each and every single one of you because love makes the world go round and round and round. And love is truly the greatest medicine of them all. And simply put, love always, it always, what? It always wins. <laughs> so stay in light and love and I promise you, you will have a winning life. So the message for today is we got Rosie Rosie, how you doing? Or Rosie Rosie, how you doing? She wanted to know, based upon the word abracadabra, which the, of the Hebrew origin of the word means you create with your word. And I like to say, you know, we say abracadabra doing a magic trick and then it would whatever magically we wanted to appear. So the reality of the situation is your word is your what is your wand. So that's if you know they swing the wand over something. Whatever we do, we speak into existence what we want to happen. So Rosie wanted to know what can she do in order to switch and change things so that she can create, you know, magic in her life. She wants to, I think, acquire property from her in-laws and her husband is in, in accordance with this whole type of experience. So they want to bring greater prosperity into their lives. Now, what I'm going to say, Rosie, Rosie, is that is a Rosie, Rosie, I think it's Rosie, Rosie, um, is that one of the key things is that, um, what I suggest that you do is if you want to speak into existence, it has to be, hopefully, you know, the in-laws want to give the land or property to you. What we cannot do with our magical words, or let's put it this way, what we should not do with our magical words is to enforce our dreams and our wishes on something or someone else that may not want to have that experience. One of the things that I would suggest you do, even though you may want it, and they may want to give it to you, we don't know the inside scoop, or, or maybe you do, but what you want to do is let divine will be done. Put it out there into the universe. You want to bring greater abundance to you, greater wealth and prosperity, and if that means that it will come through this property gift to you, then it will happen in that way. You may think that that may be your rose to creating wealth, but let's say you find out, not to say this is happening, but I want you to give you an idea of the importance of what you really want. Focus on what you really want so you can draw that to you. You think that that property may bring greater wealth and abundance to you and your family and your lifestyle for you and your husband. Like I was saying, let's say the property may be, uh, have, let's say, um, a faulty plumbing system, and let's say it is gifted to you, and the faulty plumbing, it explodes, and then you have to pay all, and it becomes an, an albatross. It becomes a, a, a negative. It starts to deplete all your finances out of, of your lifestyle and things of that nature. You may have thought it was good, but it's not. So you got to be careful. Like the old saying goes, watch what you wish for, you may get it. What you actually want, you want more abundance into your lifestyle, right? You want more wealth. You want more, more prosperity. And if that is the case, then that's what you focus on. Don't focus on how you want it to come to you. Because like I said, the universe knows what's best for you and what's not best for you, okay? What you want to do is put that out to you. You want to create more abundance in your life, and that's what you want to do. So I would say positive affirmations such as, you know, money flows through me effortlessly and easily through all sources, through property, through metal, through gold, through silver, through love, through health, you know. You know, you know wealth is coming to me. I am a money magnet. I am a prosperity magnet. I am a wealthy magnet. I am an abundance magnet. Okay, um, uh, money, uh, wealth comes to me effortlessly, 
and easily. And I accept it most humbly. And I'm grateful for the blessings that I get. This is very important. I can't stress to you. Because a lot of people are wishing for certain things. That looks can be deceiving as they say. And they may be, end up getting something that's going to make them poor. Then it's going to make them richer. So just put positive light and energy out there. That of what you truly want. And if that's greater wealth and abundance and prosperity, financial freedom and the like. Put energy on that and be receptive of what, whatever way that the universe God wants to bring it to you. Because if it's coming from the universe, if it's coming from God, if you put in that abrogate, you know, words is your wand. If you keep on saying that to you over and over again, effortlessly and easily, it'll come up. But it may not be a pot of gold. It may not be the um, the property. It may be a, a diamond ring uh, that you find, you know, in a castle or in the trash. You know, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say? So that's the thing that I want you to fully grasp and understand. Now, this is what's really important. As we're trying to shift and as we're trying to bring abracadabra, abracadabra to our lives, as our words start to as we create words that bring to life what we want to manifest into our lives what you want to do is what's going to happen is you're coming from the negative into the positive let's be honest we live in a negative world and we probably know and speak more negativity than we speak positively trust me i know from personal experience so what i do is whenever i'm you know you're putting all those positive words out there and then at, at, at a subliminal message you're thinking oh she's not going to give that property to me because of this reason or that reason say cancel universe immediately when you start thinking lack and limitation and that you're not worthy immediately say cancel universe don't put that energy out there in your mind don't verbally say it that gives it even more power and don't ever do anything in physical action wise that will even compound the problem okay of negativity in your life what you want to do is why is in the ethers you know, you want to say cancel universe and say it out loud verbally to really knock it out. And then you want to put the positive, abundance, correct words that you want it to become and habit into your life. I have more than enough. I am receptive to the abundance that is coming my way. And I am grateful. And I say to you, universe, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. With much gratitude for all of the good that's coming into me right this very minute and moment. So remember that. Because I promise you, you know, that as you make this transition, you're going to slip back to the unconscious or subconscious programming that is going to contribute to blocking your blessings. So you have to immediately start making it a habit to start speaking only prosperity, only abundance, only loving, positive words on a consistent and daily basis. And when you slip up, just remember Cancer Universe, ah, I'm in abundance and I love the power of growth and abundance coming to me. Thank you. Thank you, universe. Thank you, God. So, Razi, I hope that worked for you and your husband. And I hope, abracadabra, that all your wishes and all your dreams of abundance come to you effortlessly and easily and instantaneously. And that's what you say. And you got to believe it in order to achieve it. So, let's put the abracadabra on you. The Hebrew meaning of abracadabra is as I create and manifest from what the words I say. The words that I say create my reality. <laughs> I love you. And remember, love is energy and currency is energy and money is energy and love expression of abundance coming into your life. So let us do our minute meditation. Thank you, universe, abracadabra, for all the wonderful abundance, prosperity that's coming into my life via the money, via the time, via the health, via the relationships, via the metal, property, all of those things, fur, jewelry, all the things coming to me effortlessly and easily. And I say thank you graciously 
and humbly. Because I know that I'm worth it. I am worth it all. In America, we live in life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But we know we're happy regardless if because we have everything that we need. Since we're connected to the most high. Peace. Hetapu. Namaste. Have a fantastic Abracadabra day. Bye-bye now.